Do you have a very big tub of kimchi that's been fermenting for too long and you don't know what to do? Well, let me help you. This is one of my absolute favorite meals, which is kimchi cold noodles. First, you want to drain the kimchi soup. It's going to look like a crime scene in your sink, but that's okay. It's just kimchi. I'll put the ingredient list in the comments, but the amount of sugar and soy sauce you use should depend on how fermented and sour your kimchi is. Mine is very, very fermented, so I don't need to add too much soy sauce, but I do need a lot of sugar to balance out the sourness. I use Korean sawmill, which is a little thicker than angel hair pasta, and after boiling, you want to give it a really good wash in the cold water and drain it well too. My lights ran out of battery, but the show must go on because I was hungry. And this is the best part about this meal. If you think the kimchi sauce you made is too salty, you can just add a little bit of it. And if you think it's not that salty, you can add more. For toppings, I added spring onion, really spicy chili, and sesame seeds with ice because it was a hot day. I drizzled on more sesame seed oil because too much sesame seed oil doesn't exist. Man, I could have this every day, but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!